Uh, hello everyone, this is an interview with uh, Tomasz Szymański from Software Mill uh, and the software company. Uh, we are going to talk today about productivity without having an office and this guy is right now in South Africa, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, uh, so tell us something about yourself, tell us what you do. Okay, so as you said, my name is Tomasz Szymański and uh, I'm a CEO of, of Software Mill, a not so big uh, software house in, in Warsaw, Poland. Uh, but not not necessarily Warsaw Poland because uh, we're a hundred percent remote company. We have developers all over Poland, and uh, there's no not even uh, an office in Warsaw. Exactly. So uh, I always get that. Uh, uh, so we are both hundred uh, percent remote companies, which is uh, mm -hmm. fun to talk to and uh, fun to talk about. So the thing is that um, uh, sometimes uh, people ask me when I'm on a conference or something. They they ask me, so where are you based? And then I say, yeah. yeah, so we, I mean, technically the core team is in Poland, but we don't actually have an office, uh, so we all work from, from home remotely. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So where are you based? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we get that as well. Yes? <laughs> yes, so, yes, yes. So how do you explain that to people? <laughs> well, I tell them that uh, everyone has a computer at home, and if, you, if you're doing a software engineering job, then you don't really need anything else. So, and actually, actually, you're saving office space, and you're saving all the money you spent on your own laptop. And believe me, everyone wants to buy a nice laptop. Exactly. So, it's a win-win situation. Yeah. So. Um so, but I think uh, in your case, in your case of your company, you moved a little bit more because uh, I mean you're like uh, I remember there was another company, Treehouse, I think that they that you uh, you fired all the managers. So in the in the sense that uh, you said that you I mean right now everybody's a manager, so everybody's uh, uh, managing things. How is it working for you? Okay, so at, at some point we were more uh, a traditional company where the board, which was at the time four uh, four people, uh, the the own the owners of the company, were were running everything, and we we were running out of time because the company was growing and and we still wanted to do uh, software engineering. So we decided instead of hiring someone and paying him extra money, we'll just tell everyone that now you can rule, <laughs> and. Uh, People often ask, uh, how does it work? And we like to say, it doesn't work for the last year. So uh -huh. it's, it's quite okay. <laughs> okay, uh, because, you know, uh, I was thinking about it and and, um, um, and I don't agree 100% uh, uh, with that <laughs> because um, I think it... Uh, uh, okay, so uh, let's say... There's there's never there is never a silver bullet for everyone. So it's like for like in our case in our companies for our companies working 100% remotely works and we can prove that it works. We like how yeah. it works. So but for example the the thing with no managers that people have take take um, I mean take their uh, you know it it may work for some companies. For example in my company we do it a little bit more traditionally in the sense that there is a vision of the of the product because we have only one product. You have many yes. customers that you you know you can serve, and then in this in this way you are more flexible. I would guess. In my case, we have just one product, so there there, there needs to be a vision and some structure around the product. But uh, but what we do is we empower lots of pe I mean, people. I mean, within the structure, people know what they can do. I mean, and then they can do almost everything. So what happens mm -hmm. is that right now I am being overwhelmed by the fact that things stuff is happening without my knowledge. Because people know yes. what they can do, so they, they and, and they, they they and they just do it. So they don't ask me for permission. They don't ask me for forgiveness. They just <laughs> do stuff. Yeah. So so I have I'm like I think I'm something somewhere in between the structure. So I'm in between this traditional structure where there is a boss, there is a vision and stuff. But on the other hand, it, the, the, the 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 empowerment is is being moved a lot to the people. So they they, they don't ask me for anything. They just do stuff. Yeah. Well, actually, we we had a similar conversation not 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 long ago, that uh, the structure that we've built is is not perfect maybe for product product type companies, mm -hmm. where exactly you need someone to be the Steve Jobs, uh, who who has a vision and he he lead the way. But in our case, since we are more the uh, outsourcing company, mm -hmm. we will have many many clients, and actually you can you can see that every project for a client is a is a small company because right. uh, because you know you just have to deal with the client. And what we wanted to do is that the teams that are working for the client are responsible for all the all the 
uh, matters that is financial as well as agreements and everything so so because it doesn't make sense for example when you have a um, a developer and and then they uh, need to buy iPads for for uh, for every developer in the team. It doesn't make sense to go to the board and ask, "Hey, can we can we buy iPads?" Because then obviously uh, they know the best what they need for 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 the project, right? So 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 that's that's correct. And uh, we we tried with a product called Brag uh, at some point, and uh, it. It was more like you're saying. I mean, within the company, we had a sub sub company, let's call it, mm -hmm. and this this team was responsible for the product, and they had the vision and everything, and they were leading it their own way. Uh, it, it wasn't uh, as the the whole company would would drive the pro product. Exactly. Yes. And and uh, so uh, exactly. So th th that's the thing that. Um, uh, in your case, there, there are these, as I said, small companies, and, and I totally agree that uh, if the guy comes to you and says, I need these iPads for this project, you have no clue about the project. So how can you decide exactly. if you have really no idea? So I remember I had this conversation with my customer support team. Like They, they started coming to me, like for example, with questions, look, this is, there is this customer, he's not happy because of what, what, what. Uh, I would like to, maybe, maybe we should give him something, you know, a month free of non or something, and, uh, and, um, uh, uh, but can I do it? And so I was like, come on, I, I, don't ask me these questions. I, I, I mean, this, you are supposed to solve it yourselves. So there is a margin. You have like, I, I, did, I stole it from the Tim Ferriss for our work with book. I said, you know, you have that much money to solve a problem of the customer. If, if this much money solves the problem of the customer, just solve the problem. Don't ask me for, 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 for permission, forgiveness, whatever. Just, just do it. <laughs> don't yeah. tell me about these things because you know what's good for the customer. I haven't re read the whole correspondence and I don't want to do it. I don't have time for that. It's your job. Yeah, actually, that's, that's true. I think the biggest problem with having that, those flat structures and they can be more flat or less flat. Uh, the biggest problem is not really with the owners uh, giving the power to the people, but actually the people using the power right. because they're used that that they will be told to do that or this, and and you have to actually work a lot with people once you decide to become a flat structure, flat company or flatter company, uh, so that they can actually use that that power yeah, and yeah. take responsibility. Very no, very good point. You have to really work with the people to convince them that you you, you mean it. Yeah. You mean it. You really can solve yeah. it yourself. You yeah. don't, don't ask, right? Yeah. So you're saying now you can buy laptops if you want. Okay, so can I buy this one? No, <laughs> that's not the right question. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, so very good point. Very good point that you have to actually uh, teach people that, 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 that now that they have the power. And, and what we have experienced, I think you, you, have, you have had the same, uh, I, I guess, that many people come from different backgrounds, from different companies. And in some, co in some companies exactly. are very traditional. So they really ask for almost anything, and yeah, right? Yes, yes. Actually, I mean, to, to some extent, yes. But usually, when s someone comes for because I take what you what you mean is the corporations with right. the mm -hmm. net tape and everything. Uh, very often, when someone decides to move from a corporation to such a small company, uh, which let's I mean let's be honest, usually means sal uh, a lower salary, is because he 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 was just up to here with the with the corporation, and he mm -hmm. wants to change it to something more human uh, human humanly, right? Yeah. So these guys actually are usually. Not, not not that not that hard to convince to start using the power because they've been craving for that for a couple of years now You're before right. coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. But um, but for example, what I, what we got we got is uh, we we have one developer who comes from a big corporation and works for us now. So he, for example, what he did good for us is that he told us, okay, right now we start we have to start writing down things. So really, write. I mean, we have we have a company wiki where we write down information. So for example, this thing works like this. You know, to have holidays, whatever, you have to just do this. So we, no. I mean, we have to put stuff on, pa I mean, on paper, like in a <laughs> company-wide wiki, uh, that people know, okay, this is how it works. Clarity, I know how it works, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just work like this. So, um, so they don't have to ask these questions. Oh, how, how do I get this? How do I get that? Because um, uh, very often I would catch myself giving different answer. To the same question. Yeah. So, yeah. so now, okay. This is the question. This is the answer. Write it down. Everybody knows it. It's right there, open, and everybody knows how it works. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have a huge. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so I don't know what's happening. <laughs> 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 
video coming or something. Um, <laughs> no, it's crazy. Um, yes. So maybe again, uh, I think it's coming down. Yeah. So yeah, yeah you're you're right. Uh, we have a similar uh, approach. We we have a wiki that we put all the the rules that we uh, that we have in the company. There's a, a starter page for everyone to read through, mm -hmm. and it des uh, describes all the basics and, and uh, how how are we running. So that's that's a good good thing to have. Uh, and then sometimes we when there are things that we cannot agree just like that on. We have votings, and then the oh, okay. the company votes, and and the 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 voting becomes a, a law, and and then there's also a special place for such laws on our wiki. Ah, okay, that's a great that's a great idea. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. And um, so so uh, tell me a. Uh, and uh, you know practical aspects of running a company like this. So uh, because people always, people sometimes say you know you cannot be creative in a company like this because you, you are not in the same place. So how do you solve the creativity problem? How do you how do you how do you get this done? How do we solve the creativity problem? <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, do you have lots of, for example, because uh, do you have lots of meetings? Do you use you know video conferencing? I mean, how do you how, or how do you have any any like, for example, do you have any standard meetings that you do or a regular oh, meetings? Okay, or how okay. You, how, so, okay, so you're asking more about how the workshop of how the company is run. Yes, more, more like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we 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 have a a, a room meeting which is the derivative from Scrum and yes. Hrum in Polish is oink, which yes. is the, the sound that Pig makes. Um, so that meeting is more that to keep, uh, it's a daily meeting uh, uh, every day at 10 uh, in the morning. And this, this meeting is, is to keep the company together. Basically, we have two questions uh, on, that, on, that, on that meeting. One is, how are you today, basically? So if, if something is not going right, then it's it's the best place to say. Or if everything is superb, then you can also say that. But we're working in Poland, remember? So yeah, so we are uh, we're, we're <laughs> complainers. So it's <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> complainers. And the second question is uh, is a general question that that is is asked every day, and it can be today it was what uh, what what. Uh, uh, what was it? I don't know. Maybe what was the last, last book you read, or oh, okay. what's? Oh yeah, I remember. Today was what's your motivation for sports? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's like you know something that every day you know a little bit more about the the people you work with, uh, and this this uh, meeting is on Teamspeak, which is the oh, software that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's used for. It's it's basically created for gamers, mm -hmm. uh, but it has a push to talk functionality. Uh, I'll talk about this uh, a little bit later. And then we use Big Blue Button to have everything, uh, everyone on camera, uh, and Big Blue Button because uh, we ran out of the ten quota that I think we have on Google uh, Hangouts. Right. And Big Blue Button can support uh, as many as you want and as much. Uh, internet pipe you have wow. and then uh, and then uh, on the everyday work uh, actually this is this is something very important uh, i think uh, usually people when they think about remote works uh, is that they expect that you be you will be given uh, something to achieve and then maybe after a week or two you'll come back and you have it solved so uh, this I don't think it can work very well uh, in such a big company. Uh, so what we do is actually we're trying to simulate office work, but having it remote. Mm -hmm. So what we have you know, on the on those team speak on the team speak I mentioned earlier is that we have rooms for each project, and when you're working, you go into that project uh, into that room and. There, it only takes you to press some combination of, of, of keys on your keyboard to start talking so that everyone uh, hears you. It's like walkie-talkie. And the good thing about that is that when we before we use Skype, and every time you need to uh, you, you want to call someone, then you have to somehow arrange it. Yes. Okay, I'll call you now, then you call him, it doesn't work because something is wrong with your camera, maybe yeah. with your microphone. And with this, everything's set up and you just start talking. So so we have a, a very quick um, uh, conversation if we want to. And But the good thing uh, with working remotely is that there's a mute button. So if you really want to focus on someone and you don't want to listen about the guys who just started talking about politics and they're talking for the last three hours, mute and then you can focus on your on your job.
<laughs> so so yeah so that's how we work and then of course uh within the projects it, it all depends on the project there's no their way of, of mm -hmm. doing it uh, we have uh, scrum meetings uh, sometimes we don't it, depend, it really depends on the project and the client and the arrangements and how they want to work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay but the, the, the cool thing with it i mean we have used steam speak in the, in the past but it has um, it, it wasn't that successful but do you use the newest version the three version the steam speak three or which one do you use yes we use the, the newest version three and yeah. do you have your own steam speak server Yes, we have our own TeamSpeak server, but it costs pennies, really. It's like, I don't remember, $30 maybe a year? Or ah, okay. It's, it's we, have to, we have to check it out, we have to check it out. So, um, uh, and so the, 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 the other thing I wanted to ask uh, is, um, uh, why are you right now in South, Afri South, South Africa? Yes, South Africa. Why? Why, uh, why am I yeah. South Africa? Okay. <laughs> Look outside, and you'll see why am I so ah. <laughs> So you're escaping um, from the from the beautiful uh, winter of Poland. Yes, exactly. I mean, uh, I used to work here for four years for a client in South Africa, ah. and we stayed here with with the whole family for six months, uh, three years ago. And after coming back, we all, all the all, only thing we thought about is we want to go back one day. And now there was uh, there was just an option that we can go. Okay. Uh, and we came. So we came here for for two months, and we'll come back just for Easter. Hopefully, the spring will start, and will it will be nice. So that's why that, that's the aspect I wanted to talk to you uh, about a little bit more. Because uh, the thing is that when you have remote work uh, and 100 percent remotely, people can actually work from anywhere. So, the, for example, uh, uh, very often this is what happens in my case, and in your case, it's happening as well. Uh, you hire someone who work who who lives there, and then in the in, you know in the middle of I mean at some point they just move somewhere else. So, for example, yeah. uh, uh, one person from my company always wanted to live in France. And 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 they, they they couldn't because they would have to go to work and they would live in Warsaw in the capital of Poland. And then when they got a job in my company, they said, you know, so now if you really don't care where I live, I just go to France. <laughs> and, exactly. Yeah. And and um, that's that's why that's why I think you know uh, it, there's the other aspect that that you, 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 what what we can offer in companies that work remotely, we can offer a, a, a lot better quality of life, just as you can see, you know, right behind you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. still, and and of course, and the other thing is that uh, for personal reasons, many people want to stay in their like hometowns, for example. But they, but mm -hmm. they are very good. They are very, very intelligent. They have, they are very good people, and they would get a much better career, for example, in Warsaw, for example, in the capital of a, of, a, of 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 their yeah. of their country. But they don't want to move there because they want to be, you know, where the family is, or you know, for some personal personal reasons. And we've had that too. That you know, that that thanks to working for us, they work uh, on a, on, a, on on big projects, on important stuff, on a, 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 in a good company, and for good money, without having you know having to move to to, to a different place. Yes, yes. I mean, we we had the, the same. We we have two guys. One moved back to Suhaveskiska, The other moved back to Kielce from Krakow, because they just could, they just could and they can work uh, and live where they want. And also, there's one guy who is a, a glide, glider. I think that's that's yeah. the, the, the word. And he he will go South Poland for every I don't know a month or two, where the best winds are, and he enjoys himself. And then he goes back to Three City, where he stays. Yeah, that's the thing. And then uh, you know you cannot offer this if you have a centralized uh, you know office, and when you uh, force people to go there. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So anyway. Um, he, we we talked about and, and how do you uh, so so uh, do you um, in your company because as as we said in your company we have you have several projects you have several clients uh, so mm -hmm. do you uh, do do you I mean you, you said that there is lots of liberty how these projects are done but is there any yes. way is there any way that you do coordinate this or is there any 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 structure that you have all agreed on or or how how does it work is there anything in common like in, any I in think there's nothing really in place, carved in stone, yeah. or there are no rules of how the project should be run. Naturally, within projects, there's usually someone who's a natural leader. Mm -hmm. And it's not that he's elected or he's put on that place by the board, mm -hmm. but maybe he's the oldest on that project, or maybe he's just respected by the other team members uh, for some reasons. So, so naturally, there's someone who will be the contact for the client because clients also need that 
uh, traditional glimpse of, of working because right. they're used to it, to it. So so a client will expect that there will be one person that he can talk about things like mm -hmm. financial maybe or uh, asking about new resources and usually there's there's someone like that in each project and but it's it's nothing that that we that we I don't know, elect someone or put in place and asking coordination um, no not really sometimes when when they uh, the, the rule is like this if you can solve a problem or uh, in, in in your team then you do it once uh, once you have problems that are unsolvable in within the team then you maybe ask someone for help or advice and if still you're not you're not sure then you you go on the company level and maybe then then, then we can uh, when we meet uh, we can have uh, some serious talk about that maybe some i don't know trying to solve some problems that that might emerge uh, and this is also a part of of how the company is run we have monthly meetings uh, in person so oh. i think it's 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 i think it's crucial for 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 running a remote company because people uh, like seeing other people and they they like to remember we're built of flesh and blood so, so they like to so you know in, in this case we solve it differently so i i i don't uh, i don't necessarily agree with that so in in, in, in this in this way we well, what we do is we we hire people via skype we we, we fi fire people via skype if necessary but if actually we don't fire people people know that they're fired because they don't do their work so it's a, 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 a but the thing is we hire people via Skype. We we very often hire people we, we haven't seen before in the in the in the. What we do sometimes is that we send somebody who lives close to them, like to to, to meet. But maybe but very often it's not, it's not it's not even the case. But what but what happens is that we, for example we do twice a year uh, like a whole week a company meeting. So mm -hmm. for the whole week, we you know we move everyone to one place to one uh, hotel. Uh, we get the conference room. We have lots of other things like you know ping pong, you know whatever. I mean mm -hmm. foosball, whatever you know stuff to play and and, yeah. and and so we we and then we 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 work kind of, but we more more like we we really play together. So in this in this one one week span, we really meet. We 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 you know we connect and and uh, we get motivated for the for the next half a year. So uh, and now we are also experimenting with like uh, smaller meetings, like, like for example, like um, like for example, customer support team is meeting next week uh, for three days. So that like everybody everybody is coming to one place just to just to to, to, to chat for three days only, um, or two days. I don't remember. No, three days, uh, as far as I remember. So we are experimenting with that, but we we don't have like monthly meetings because we are so far away from each other that would be just a pain to organize it every every month. But then, then we do half a year, but then we do a really big one like for the full week and we just, you know, we're, we're just there together. Yeah. Well, it's just another approach. Uh, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think you, you don't necessarily disagree with me. It's just, no. uh, it's just using the same, same, same technique, but uh, slightly differently. Uh, obviously, on those monthly meetings, we don't have everyone every, every time. Right. Because uh, it's, it's impossible to organize it like that. Mm -hmm. But then... Uh, once a year we have a big a bigger meeting with the whole families so that includes the wives and the kids ah. and so so we have like that and and now we had a bigger one for a weekend we actually went to Sopot nice. uh, just to, to to bond a bit more mm -hmm. uh, so yeah so yeah uh, meeting for a week uh, I don't know uh, if you if you if many of your team members have kids but uh, it's just uh, the wives are, are uh, expecting us to be home because we're working from home so then if you if you tell that we, we're gonna leave for a week that might be difficult uh, you know in, in, my, in my okay so in my team in my that's a good point in my team we don't have many people who have kids i mean i have two kids but uh, uh, my wife knows that you know for this week i'm, I'm, I'm off and, and she organizes you know um, herself yeah. so that she can handle this uh, but we don't have lots of people with kids yet in my team maybe that's also the clue that, 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 that works like that yeah. so in our company for some reason almost everyone has at least one or two okay 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 so. Okay, so so again, good good tip for everyone. You know, you have to just adjust these kind of schedules yeah. to have family in mind, and that's that's totally true. That's um, that's the case. So you have to make sure that you know that, that they are not left alone and everything. Yeah. So anyway, um, Tomasz, thanks for this great conversation, and uh, thanks for um, pleasure. 
sharing uh, sharing the sun, sun, sunshine from from South Africa with us, and um, really a fantastic a fantastic way of working for us. I mean, we we are living proof. If you, I mean, you can ask Tomas. All the contact details will be under the interview and everything. Uh, you can ask Tomas. You can ask me. We run hundred percent remote companies. We love it. As we, it's not like we, as you said, it's not like we disagree. We actually have different approaches to different things, but. A common approach. We think it's just a, a, a cool way of, of, of running a of running a business and really giving a good quality of life to people, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks. So thanks. Thanks, thanks so much. Lot. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye.